Well, what's up again there guys? Brian here at 3 tier and welcome to another episode of the People's Questions. Um, and we got a much shorter episode this time around from pretty much all regulars. Uh, so I'm not really expecting anything too special, anything too hard or anything that's going to take any real serious critical thinking. Uh, so to jump right into it, the first question comes from Sansco Scarpino and you want to know, do I think that Mace Windu could have survived the God knows how many stories fall from Revenge of the Sith? Uh, we don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess on official profile they say he's dead, but we never actually saw him die. And, you know, uh, several people have said, you know, it's not impossible for Mace Windu to, to, to return. But uh, the, the way I see it is this. Never underestimate the power of fandomism. Uh, I mean, if Mar Darth Maul can be cut in half and then thrown down a giant garbage tube and somehow manage to survive and still be relevant now, then I don't see why they can't do that with Mace Windu. Next question comes from Matt Cruz, and you want to know who do I think should replace Hugh Jackman as Wolverine? I'm not really good at these type of questions because I'm not really a casting type person, but I'll just kind of go with the cliche answer I've been hearing kind of around the internet, and some people say that Tom Hardy would be a solid choice. I wouldn't argue against that. He's a pretty solid actor, and I'm pretty sure he could do the part. Next question comes from Tanuki Player, and you want to know... Would I like to see any series turn into a fighting game developed by NetherRealm Studios? No, not really. I think they're doing just fine with just focusing between Mortal Kombat and uh, Injustice. I mean, these are two great uh, fighting franchises that, you know, I prefer playing. I, I prefer playing them than any other fighting franchise like Street Fighter or, you know, Dead or Alive or Tekken. So, no, uh, no. if they just want to stick with those two franchises, then that's fine with me. Next question comes from Joe O'Colliot, and he wants to know, What would I think of a standalone movie about Mitra Surik, The Exile? No, that is not a good idea. And the reason it's not a good idea is because of the era that it takes place. The problem with trying to make a movie about anything that takes place in Knights of the Old Republic era is that it's so far from the star, you'd say the Skywalker lineage. Um, it makes no sense to make a story that far back because nothing that really happens at that time period is very relevant now. And it's kind of hard to make a movie that takes place several thousand years before The Phantom Menace. I mean, it, it, it would be the same as like make, trying to make a movie for Darth Bane. I mean, the only significant part of Darth Bane is that he created the Rule of Two linear, lineage but it would go through so many cycles before we even got to Plagueis and Palpatine when it would really become relevant to the current story now. And I don't really think that Disney wants to take that chance. They kind of want to keep all the movies that they're making. They kind of want to make sure they're within a certain time period. And so trying to make a movie involving any character taking place in the Knights of the Old Republic would just be a bad move because then you would have people just being confused because they don't know how this connects to anything that they've known before. So I just think that would be a terrible idea. Next question comes from Michael Bielan. You want to know, what is my favorite Call of Duty game? That's easy. It's World at War. Always has been, always will be. I like World War II shooter games, and hopefully if they've learned anything from the success of Battlefield 1, we need to go back to World War II. Next question comes from HydrogoBlood881. You want to know, besides Force Stealth, Force Stun, Mind Tricks, are there any of Force Powers, Legend, or Canon that I could see Big Boss, Miller, or Snake using? No. Um, these guys are normally human beings. I don't think they would even be interested in wanting to use force powers. It just doesn't, it doesn't fit their personality. Uh, it, they're more used to fighting opponents that have powers than them using it themselves. So I really can't see either any character in Metal Gear Solid, at least on the protagonist side of things, ever even wanting to be interested in using force powers. It just doesn't, it just doesn't fit their personality and character. Next question comes from Ladybug012, and you want to know, the Punisher versus Deathstroke, who would win? I'm going to lean more towards Deathstroke, simply because he has that healing factor. I mean, when it terms their training, they're about the same. In terms of their arsenal, they're about the same, although the Punisher has a knife while Deathstroke has a sword, but I think another edge I would give to Deathstroke is he's probably a much better fighter. Anyone who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman and can beat him in terms of a martial arts style of combat is certainly more than a match for... Frank Castle. So I would say with those two edges, I would probably think that Deathstroke would probably win. And the last question of the episode comes from JDS4696. He wants to know, do I think the title of The Last Jedi sounds good for Star Wars Episode 8? 
I don't really care what the title is, because I'm not going to go see this film at all. They could have called it anything, and I still wouldn't have seen it. I mean, I mean, there are all these speculations of what the title might be. Maybe Luke Skywalker will die. Maybe it's Pearl for something. I don't know. I don't care. I'm not going to see Episode Eight at all, unless Pussy Boy, Kylo Ren, or Bitch Ray gets killed. That is the only way I'm going to see this film. But chances are they're not going to do that at all anyway, so not interested. And that is the end of this episode. I'd like to thank you guys for making this episode possible, even though it's a bit short. If you guys have any more questions you would like me to answer in next week's episode, be sure to type them in the comments down below. Make sure you get them into me before next week before I start filming this. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I'll see you next time.